everyone. I am Pastor Trish and guess what? It is time for another Motivational Monday moment where I get so excited just to spend time and spend a moment talking about the Word of God with you. All right, let's get at it. Get your Bibles, your smartphones, your iPads, and let's get to the Word of God. All right, today our scripture is Matthew chapter 12 verse 43 and it reads, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. All right? Seeking rest and finding none. Our theme today is simply dry places. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a dry place. So in this scripture, Jesus was describing the attitude of the nation of Israel and the religious leaders in particular just you know, uh, cleaning up one's life without filling it with God leaves plenty of room for Satan to enter. The book of Ezra records how the people, they rid themselves of idolatry, but they failed to replace it with God's love and obedience to him. So ridding your lives of sin is the first step. Hallelujah. But we must also make the second step, and that is filling our lives with God's word and his Holy Spirit. Unfilled and inactive people are easy targets for the devil, all right? So I don't know about you, but I don't want to become a dry place. Hallelujah, you can text that in. I don't want to be a dry place, all right? The word of God says to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Hallelujah, you have to do something to invoke the presence of the Lord. Now, you can choose to just sit and be an onlooker, or you can choose to be a participator in worship and receive the benefits. Even through this COVID and not being physical in church, you can still be a worshiper. You can still turn your house, your living room, your family room into your personal worship sanctuary. Don't allow COVID to stop your worship and hinder your praise. Hallelujah. Worshipers get favor. I don't know about you, but I love favor and I tell people people. Favor may not be fair, but it's fabulous and it works for me. All right. So God dwells in the midst of our worship. We were created to worship and to commune with God to have fellowship. So in order to fellowship with someone or to communicate with someone, you have to talk. You have to listen. You have to do something. Hallelujah. Listen, worship is a privilege. The rocks can cry out. The stars can sing. The animals can make a sound, but we have the capability of using our vocal cords and speak to God and then God speak back to us. We worship God for who he is and we praise him for what he has done. God, you mean so much to me. God, you're worthy of all my praise. Hallelujah. God, you're everything to me. My life, my joy, my strength, my all. That's worship. But some people can't worship because of the dry places. Dry places can either be a learned experience experience, maybe from someone who raised you and they didn't know how to show the expression of love, or it could be something you gradually happen. It could be something that, you know, just gradually happened in your life. This could be a dry place, but I'm here to tell you, hallelujah, let's be clear. Nobody is attracted to dryness. Can I say that again? Nobody is attracted to dryness. Okay, you go to a, west, a restaurant. You're all excited, you know, and the waiter comes and you're looking at the menu and the menu looks good. So the waiter wants to take your order. So they say, well, what would you like to order? Not rude, just dry. Not smiling, just dry. That could ruin your whole dinner experience. You came into the restaurant all excited, looking forward to a wonderful dining experience, but because of the waiter, he just put a damper on your whole event. You go to a store, you get excited, you're ready to purchase an a, a item, and you're looking for the salesman, and you find the salesman, and he comes up to you, how can I help you? Just dry. The right words, but he has the wrong approach. It's the way he approached you that just made this situation unpleasant. If you are a salesman and if you want to keep your job, 
you cannot be dry. You need to be pleasant to get paid, all right? To get that paycheck. That should make you want to smile. Hallelujah. Good morning. How may I help you? Welcome to Walmart or whatever you need to say. You need to be pleasant. Worship is not based on your feelings. Hallelujah. You're, you worship God because he is God. You worship God because he deserves all of your praise in spite of how we feel or what is happening in your life. Dry places turns people off, all right? A dry waitress would probably get a better tip if they were pleasant. Nobody wants to even hire a dry person. You go to an interview, you may be qualified, you may have all the academia that you need, but because of your dry attitude, that may keep you from getting that job. No one is attracted to dryness except maybe the devil. So to get access to you, he does things to keep you dry, to keep you solemn, to make you tired or weary, you know, to have your sense of pleasure exhausted, to keep you unhappy and dissatisfied. He wants to keep you distracted, thinking about your problems instead of thinking about the problem solver. Hallelujah. Type that in. I am praising God because he's my problem solver. Nobody wants to walk through dry places, but devils. So when you lose your sense of pleasure and you develop this negative mindset, the enemy may be walking through you because you are a dry place. Any dry place aches. It could be a dry mouth or a dry socket. Maybe you are in pain because you have put your joy on the back burner. You need to get your joy back. Dry places affects you spiritually. You need that joy that comes from your soul that lasts past the shouting in church, that lasts past the preaching, that lasts past you driving out of your church parking lot, all right? You need the joy like never before. Remember, the devil walks through dry places. You want the devil to walk through your home? You let your home be dry. No worship in your house. No love. No prayer. Don't let the enemy steal your joy during this COVID season. So remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Listen, get up with joy. Drive to work with joy. Cook your breakfast with joy. All right? Become a joyful worshiper, not a dry place. And as I always love to end, be prayerful. Be positive, be purpose, but don't be a dry place. All right, God bless.